What's up guys and welcome to today's vlog. Now this time it's another day of testing the full thrust system. But actually this time it's not the hopper bucking like on the last vlog. On this footage I am testing different inner barrels. And the footage that you're gonna see it's actually I think it's five months ago, four to five months ago before the actual launch. So it's not about a new barrel that's gonna come out soon. Um, The barrel that we're testing, you know, the one that we're choosing is actually already in the full thrust kit. But anyways, this is the vlog about how we chose which inner barrel goes into the full thrust system. Hey what's up guys, today we are testing the new parts for the full thrust kit. We just got the prototypes in. I arrived at the testing facility which is a 100 meter long indoor tunnel and we brought an SSG and a Visa 10 together with hopper buckings, tons of different barrels from different manufacturers, um, different you know diameters and tolerances. You know we have to test it in an indoor environment because of influences like wind and stuff. The shooting tunnel is part of a real steel shop. This is why it's 100 meters long and it's just perfect for testing. Every airsoft sniper takes wet dream. I'm sure you guys know if you do airsoft taking, it's always kind of like, okay, I tried this new part and I'm gonna shoot it. Is it really shooting better? There's so much wind going on, I'm not sure. So none of those factors are, you know, it's temperature controlled. The air moisture is always the same, no matter which time of the year. And of course, no wind. And what we brought in order to make light into this tunnel is this insanely huge flashlight, which it's big and it's very bright. So we can put light down this tunnel all the way. Uh, we're gonna have a target there, which is this piece of plastic. We're gonna put this at 90 meters today, and then we test again different barrels, which are inside those gun cases. Actually, really quick, it's the wrong one. Here we go. So we brought all those barrels, different diameters, different materials, and they're also coming from different plants. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna compare all the barrels and we're gonna find the best one because for the full thrust system, obviously we want the best possible performance with this given caliber. Now the reason why we are here and not outside is obviously there is no wind. It's temperature controlled, uh, air moisture is always the same. So let's get started. I'm gonna bring this target right here all the way back into the tunnel Oh man, I hate going into this tunnel actually. It's really low, it's like one meter high and I have to go all the way to the back there. Running 100 meters in this position is not very comfortable. That should be about 90 meters. I'm gonna double check it with the range finder. Oh, it's so dark in here. I can barely see the cross. There we go, 90 meters. I'm gonna set up this target here and therefore I need to bring that target hole over there. Let's move it. Target is attached. Now let's go back. God, I hate this tunnel. I mean, I hate it and I love it. On the one side, it allows us to do precise testing. On the other hand, it's just impossible to walk in here. Finally. <laughs> okay, three hours into testing, we finally got some results. Now, interestingly enough, it's the wider bores that shoot more accurate with the full thrust system. So the barrels that we have here, we made them ratio-wise, you know, BB to inner diameter. We made it like the 601, like the 603, the 605, and the 608, because those are the barrels. It's kind of proven that they work really well in the 600 meter system or in the 5.95 system. So that's the ratios we chose as well here for all those different suppliers. And we are more towards the 608 ratio, actually. This is this is the one that's performing the best at 90 meters. We get the best results, the highest hit rate. Actually, way superior to the others. So that's the one we're gonna go with. This is going to become 
the full thrust in a barrel. Tests are not finished yet, of course, now we do the whole thing in reverse because, you know, you never know, maybe there was dirt in the BBs or there was oil in the barrel, so we clean all the barrels again, we clean all the buckings again, we switch to another platform, so we did all the tests now in the VSA 10, now we're gonna do all the tests in the SSG just to confirm our tests, and it's gonna be blind testing, so Dominic behind the camera will install the barrels for me, so I don't even know what's inside the gun because otherwise it's like a biased opinion because I know the prices of the barrels and obviously they're very very expensive barrels if they don't shoot better I don't want to go for them but if I don't know what's inside the gun it's as objective as it can be flashlight is still performing well it's still pointing the light at 100 meters man this flashlight never complains it's never off battery it's I have to see it you have to see how many how many actual cells are in there look at this I'm glad we can actually test it here in this shooting tunnel because obviously before I asked that the, the vendors who provided the sparrows I was asking them hey test different diameters and send me the one that you think is best and now we have here I don't even remember I think it's nine suppliers and you know those sparrows got sent in to our headquarters within the past few months but they already did the test I don't know how they tested it maybe they tested it outdoors which is completely wrong you have to test it in an indoor area under the right conditions but yeah I'm glad we found the final barrel and Again, we're gonna double check it and then it's gonna go into the full thrust kit. Before we did the barrel test, we tested tons of different buckings since it's now 6.7 millimeter entrance. So um, the size of the entrance is like on a VSO 10. We could use all the different buckings out there and I tested all of them, but you know, they're not designed for that heavy BB. They're not designed for 0 0.58 grams. So none of them could hop unless you went to really high tools. Like if you go towards like three tools, 3.5 tools, then you can use existing buckings for VSO 10. They can hop the full thrust BBs. But um, also we want, you know, that people in the UK, for example, should be able to use the system. And they are limited to 2.3 tools. I think in France, it's the same. So this is why we had to develop our own bucking. And we tried all the shapes and all the hardness grades and different silicones and rubbers. And this is the one that worked the best. See, it's 100% on the SSG because that's what people expect. And very grippy. It's very, very grippy. It's a nice, soft silicone. I also tested it at cold temperatures. It works great there as well. The reason why I started with the hopper bucking and not with the barrel is because I think the hopper bucking is way more important than the barrel. So first the hopper bucking. And once we confirmed this one, you know, once we knew, okay, it's shooting great, it's shooting straight and it can hop at even, you know, two tools. Now we're there testing the barrels. We double check one more time. This is gonna go into the SSG because we did all the tests on the Visa 10. We do it again on the SSG. And if they all say the same, we have the final result. Wow, wow, it's incredible. Okay, good. <laughs> Minus two. Minus two. I'm so glad we have this tunnel. Testing this outdoors would be horrible. Like, oh, let's stop testing because it's windy. Does this even count? Oh, it's not that windy. Let's just, you need a tunnel like this if you want to test anything. Outdoors, it just, it just doesn't count. Testing is finally finished. Um, we found the right barrel. I'm gonna go right back, write the email that we gonna, you know, place our order of those barrels, that we have them ready in about one to two months. And man, I can't wait to release this. I can't wait to revolutionize airsoft sniping. You know, with those heavy beams, you just, you just reach further. It's great. Um, I played with it a few games already, but not with this new barrel. I played with another barrel, which didn't perform as well according to the tests that we did right now. So yeah, it's gonna be great. Now let's clean up this mess.
right guys, that was the four months old footage. Hope you enjoyed, hope it gave you like a little bit of an insight of how we developed the full thrust kit. And when you now look inside the kit of the SSG or the VSA 10, the barrel that's inside here is exactly the same barrel that we chose. Not the same barrel, um, obviously we mass manufactured them, but it's uh, the barrel from the same supplier and from the same factory that's now in the full thrust kit. Now the launch of the full thrust kit is already a couple of weeks ago. Just wanted to say thank you once again to everybody out there who got it, you know, who trusted into what we developed. Um, got lots of positive feedback already. There's also some reviews out there here on YouTube. I'm gonna link them down below. There's one by Swamp Sniper, which is really cool. There's one by Standby, which is funny. And then also the GSP crew made one in German, you know, where they talk about how it performs, how they install it, and what's their legal situation in Germany. Because in Germany, everything is a little bit more complex, just as always. I'm gonna leave links to all those reviews down in the descriptions so that you can check them out. This is Novrich, and I see you on the next vlog.